Hey guys, welcome back to what I'm sure will be another chaotic video. We are just getting started, so we will see. Um, if you're new here, my name is Riley. I'm a mom. I have two boys. Toby James is going to be 17 months and Jonah Troy is turning seven months. So 17 months and seven months. It is crazy all the time, every day. Um, right now, Johnny took Toby. He's running some errands with him. I have Jonah and he is sleeping. So I am kind of, you know, I have a chance to talk to you guys. So I have been filming the last few days. Um, not very well, but we've been going to the park and doing some fun things. And I thought like I should just share some clips. So I'll start with Thursday. I met Johnny. We went to Buckingham Farms, which is near where he works. The food there is super good. We've eaten there twice now and we've loved it both times. They have a nice little outdoor eating area with little picnic tables. They do have indoor eating as well. Um, and they have like a rustic barn outside and it seems like they grow a lot of their own crops. I'm guessing they have a, like tomatoes growing in the back. They had, I don't know if it was kale, cabbage, rosemary is growing. It's really cool. They also had a big, um, I don't know what kind of tortoise. It's a big African tortoise in a big enclosure outside. So you can watch it while you eat. It's just a neat place. There's some big oak trees. It's very like scenic and fun. Um, Toby had fun playing with this like little red tractor that they had on the property, which was cool. Um, and it's really close to where Johnny works. So that was fun. It was a little awkward because I actually picked that to meet him. And then like half of his work, like coworkers showed up there. So that was kind of weird, but it was fun. I always like going there. So if you've never been, I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, that was Thursday. And I think I didn't do anything else really the rest of that day. And then yesterday was Friday and my plan was to take the kids to Estero Park and hopefully walk and get some exercise. It, we live in Southwest Florida and it's beautiful, but it's starting to get hot. And when it gets hot, it gets hot. And it was too hot. So they played a little bit on the, or they, not they, Toby played a little bit on the equipment and walked around and just, you know, played with kids, which was fun. And then I tried walking. It just got too hot for us. So like usual, I went to my mom's, which is, you know, in that area. Whenever I'm in town, I usually go see my mom. So I went there and then... Jonah ended up falling asleep and then Toby was just like on something like he was going crazy and it's hard when you're you have a toddler and you're in someone else's space and they're just you know throwing a fit or throwing their food on the floor or whatever so since Jonah was taking a nap I asked my mom if she wouldn't mind keeping an eye on him and then I ended up taking Toby down the street to another park which is near their house and so he had fun there I think that was the Carl Drew Park it's a lot smaller but it was fun there was a lot more kids there actually and Toby just seems to be like a chick magnet all the little girls want to follow him around and they're like petting him on the head and stuff so it's just funny he doesn't really get to be around other kids he's like the only cousin like he's the first grandbaby so um that was fun it's cute seeing him in that environment and we had fun and then we tried um going to Outback my mom gave us an Outback gift card and I was super hungry so I was hoping my mom would watch them, but I know that's a lot to ask. So we ended up just taking the kids to dinner with us and that was a mistake. Jonah is like an angel wherever we go, but Toby did end up throwing a fit during the dinner. So I let Johnny finish eating and I just said, box my food up, I'll take him for a walk. We were at Gulf Coast Town Center, so they have a cat cafe. So that was funny. We just like looked in the window, we didn't go in, but Toby loves, loves, loves cats. So it was funny seeing him light up when he saw the cats. Um, and then they have like a little outdoor park area by like the Ron John. So I let him play there. So actually it was three parks in one day when I think about it. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, it was a fun day. We had fun. Um, today I'm thinking is hopefully going to be a little more fast paced. My dad, I confirmed with him yesterday. He's supposed to be coming back today to help us finish the wallpaper. So that would be like a hallelujah moment if he could do that and we could just get that done. Um, my house is a construction zone right now. Both of the bedrooms, we decided to wallpaper them both at the same time, which I think was a huge mistake. Um, I knew nothing about wallpapering. I was just like, oh, we'll just hang wallpaper. That's easy, right? No, um, we had to retexture the walls, make them flat. So hopefully they're flat and smooth enough for my dad to do the wallpaper. I'm a little nervous about that, but we shall see. And then with all of the chaos and stuff, um, he asked me ahead of time, like, are you okay with your house being like this for a week? Cause I won't be able to get back here. And I'm like, yeah, no worries. I'm used to it. Well, no, I wasn't, I was not used to it. Um, both of my kids changing pads were like covered in stuff from their closet. Cause we had pulled everything out of the closet. So their whole room was just like, you couldn't walk in the door. So I ended up rearranging 
and I took, he had one of those pieces that has like the baskets in it that was in his closet and I ended up moving that into the playroom, which is funny because I just showed you guys what the playroom looks like and I wish I videoed it, but last night I just got that little itch to do something and I rearranged the playroom, which I'm glad I did. It actually is much more functional now, but that is just like me. Like I can't be here by myself or I'm gonna start these projects. So I moved the desk around and I put that, um, that piece in there and just kind of cleaned it. So it looks good, it's functional. My mom hopefully will come this weekend too and we can stand the shiplap down and I can just be like done with that because that is driving me crazy that it's just not finished. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, I'll show you what the playroom looks like, just so you guys can see it. All right, here we are. So this is the piece that I was talking about that was in the kid's closet. It's mostly like blankets and sheets and stuff. I do have some wet wipes and diapers. And then there are some toys on these top bins, which I'm kind of worried about because Toby does like to pull that down. And I could see him making a gigantic mess with that. And then Jonah, sweet baby, is still over there. He's still sleeping. And then the desk, that was the big thing that we moved around, which honestly, it's just a lot more functional, functional, um, cleaned up. I like it. This piece is kind of driving me crazy being here and the flag is still not up, which is annoying. But the guys, um, Johnny did call the bathroom people. They are coming back next week. So hopefully Monday or Tuesday next week, they can finish up the bathroom and get that done. Um, they've been just very difficult with us they're fighting like everything on the contract so that's fun but they said they're gonna come back and make it right Mom said she's on her way with the hot dog or hamburgers. Hot dog. Hamburgers. So who's who's gonna win the game tomorrow? Um, Are you geez. watching the Chiefs? Yeah, I'll watch it for sure, but I don't have. Oh, 
What a waste. Care in the world who wins. Yeah, me either. Okay. I definitely need to get the floor cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Look at the mess you're making. I know. I think that was fair. <laughs> What's up guys? So today is the next day. Um, my dad got a lot of work done yesterday. Um, we just had breakfast. I made eggs and turkey bacon and Toby took a bath and he's having quiet time, which is not so quiet because I can literally hear him and they're babbling now. So Jonah's sleeping, Johnny's in the yard. Um, I'm just trying to get the day prepped. Today is Super Bowl Sunday. And if you're like me, you do not care about Super Bowl at all. So my dad is coming again to work. I'm hoping my mom will bring us lunch like she did yesterday. It was kind of more of a dinner, but I know my family watches the game, so they will probably come out early, have lunch, and then go home to watch that. So we'll just take you along for whatever the day brings. Um, we live in Southwest Florida. It is super windy out, which is actually really nice. I have all my windows open and it feels good. I feel like it's getting some of the nasty dust outside. So I'm going to change and get ready and get started and just kind of tidy up my house and we'll take you along for the day. What are you doing? Look at this mess. You like playing with hangers? Cutie pie, you want to go outside? <laughs> go. overhead light that I purchased for the bathroom reno. We got it out of the box and there was a big dent in it and I honestly just thought it was a little bit like 70s-ish looking. I know that's like a style right now but I just I'm not about it. So Johnny's gonna go in and see if they have the light that I did originally want and he's returning that. We just left Walmart so we had to go get some things from there. Why are you whining? He's in so good and it's whenever I pull up my phone and start talking he starts whining but 
Anyway, we're once we leave here, we're going back to my house and hopefully my dad will be there working on the wallpaper. Go get corn pop. Let's go see corny. Driving out here, it was like, wow. You know, 75, you definitely feel some of that God. Hey guys, so my dad just left for the day. He got a lot of progress done. And the good news is that he said next time we will get to do wallpaper. So I'm excited about that. He also discussed with us, we really need to retexture the whole room basically because it's so bad in here. And he was saying that if we wanted, he could do what he did in the closet and essentially just make it like a flat, flat wall with no texture. We have someone coming next week to give us a quote for like, I guess it's called orange peel where it's a very light texturing. So we'll see how that goes, but good news all around. And we're able to kind of start looking at what paint color we want for this room because we're gonna have to paint the whole thing now. So you can see what I mean, like why we need to retexture the whole walls because you can see like the little dabble of texturing and then patchwork everywhere. And this is basically what our entire house looks like. So I found this at, I think it was Lowe's Quiet Comfort. And these are all like oops, the cutest little shades. So we were all kind of negotiating like what shades we thought would be best for the room. I like the nappery, the little like yellowy one right here. I think that is pretty. It's kind of like what we have in here now, but I think it kind of reminds me of like a warm beach sand and we're wallpapering the closet like ocean. So it's funny how I said before that this house is not beachy at all and I'm slowly turning it beachy. I wanted like a country cottage, but I feel like buyer's market, we're in Florida and I want that to be the theme. I thought I should be totally transparent with you guys and just show you the state of this room too. Um, my dad won't be able to come out again until next weekend, so this will be what it looks like for the next week. But I am heavily considering having him just texture the walls. Um, I'm sure we would pay him, but for much less than, you know, a professional. And... We'll have to wait at least a weekend for him to do that. He said he could wallpaper in a day. Um, but anyway, if he does texture the walls or we have them textured professionally, either way, we need to take everything out of this room. So it's, it's a hot mess right now. But this is what it looks like. So this is the floor. And it will probably stay like that. I might try and sweep it out a little bit. But this needs like some heavy duty mopping. And I'm not doing that. This was the dresser that was in the closet. All of my many little knickknacks. I love picture frames. It's like my favorite thing. So yeah, this room is crazy. Pretty boy. Charlie, come in. why I decided to come outside because it's freezing out it's been so nice out all day but the Sun is starting to go down and it is getting really cold so I'm a Florida girl I'm going in but I thought I'd end the video here and just say thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video bye